Hello everyone. Today we'll be solving problem 109 of chapter 16. Member AB has the angular motion shown. So for member AB, we have both angular velocity and angular acceleration, which means that we have information about point B. We have the velocity of point B and also the acceleration of point B. Determine the angular velocity and angular acceleration of member CB and DC. So the problem is asking for omega CB, omega DC, alpha CB, as well as alpha DC. So looking at a problem, we can see by visual inspection that the velocity at B has to be in the negative direction of I if this is our coordinate system x and y. Also velocity at c also is perpendicular to link cd. If I want to find i instantaneous center of zero velocity, I have to draw vertical lines to both velocities. You can see it will meet at infinity. That means that omega cb uh, is zero because the, the link is having a translation motion, not there is no rotational component. And then there is translation, which means that any point in on the rigid body have the same velocity. So velocity at C would be equals to velocity at B, simply because we see with respect to B, the rotational component is zero. So velocity at B is or alpha is 0.2 times omega, which is here too. So 0.4 would be the velocity at C. So once we have the velocity at C, we can use the information about this link, link CD, to find omega CD. So VCD is simply R CD, omega CD, so omega. I'm just writing the scalar formulation. So it's 0.4 divided by the R, which is 0.1, so it would be four radian per sec. That's the magnitude of omega. So we found both of our angular velocities. Now we need to find the angular acceleration. To find the angular acceleration, we need to write relative acceleration equation. If we look at the unknowns, alpha CB and alpha DC, so the point of interest would be C, because C is shared between the two links. So I'm gonna write relative acceleration equation AC with respect to A, B plus AC with respect to B. You need to remember that for acceleration, we have two components, tangential and normal component. So for each of these points, I'm going to have two components unless one of them is zero because alpha is zero or omega is zero. So let's just start with AC acceleration at C. Would be alpha DC uh, cross R, if I assume counterclockwise, would be positive here, would be from D to C or D with C with respect to D, D to C would be negative 0.1 J. Also negative omega D C squared cross R again, which is negative 0.1 J. Omega D C or omega CD is four radian per second. So here I can replace the values, AC, KJ would be <coughs> negative I, and I have negative I over there. So that would be positive, so that would be point, would be positive point one alpha DC I. That would be 16, six, and this is just a simple a multiplication. It's not a cross product because omega dc squared is not a vector. So I have negative, negative, so it would be uh, positive 
1.6j. This one would be 16 and times 0.1 would be 1.6j. So that's AC that I have. Now I need to write AB. AC has had two components, AB will have two components as well. I can either use the vector formulation or look at the problem and saying that, okay, if, if I have the direction of omega and alpha, it has two components, or alpha will be tangential components of acceleration and r omega squared would be the normal component of acceleration. And both of them are have negative components towards negative x and negative y. So r alpha, or if 0.2, alpha is four, so 0.24 would be 0.8, so that would be negative 0.8 i and also r omega squared, r is 0.2, omega is 2, so that would be 4, 0.2, that would be again 0.8, the direction is negative, so negative 0.8 j. So I found a, b. I have AC. The next task is to find A, C with respect to B. So I can write my equation, A, C with respect to B. That would be alpha C, B. Again, I'm just assuming counterclockwise to be positive. If I find a negative value, that means that my assumption is incorrect. A, C with respect to B means B to C means I'm interested in this vector or BC, this angle is 60 degrees. So the X component would be cosine 30 and the Y component would be cosine 60. That would be negative 0.45 cosine 30 I minus 0.45 cosine 60 or sine 30. So ACB, this is the tangential component, but I'm not gonna have any normal component. You know why? Because omega is zero. So if omega CB is zero, so R omega squared would also be zero. So the other component is zero, I just write zero, so you remember that. So if I just want to expand that, K times I would be positive J, but I already have a negative here, cosine 30 S square root of three over two. So if I rearrange that, that would be 0.225 S square root of three, alpha C B J, K cross, J, it creates a negative value. I already have a negative here. So that would be positive. Cosine 60 would be half. So half of 0.45 would be 0.25 alpha CB high. So I found the third vector. Now I just replace everything into my equation of AC equals AB plus AC with respect. Maybe this equation is gonna give me two equations, one in i direction, one in j direction. So for i, I write the components on the right side, 0.1 alpha cd or alpha dc negative 0.8 plus 0.225 alpha cb. I have two equations and two unknowns in this equation. I can't solve this equation, I need to move to the J component. On the left side, I have 1.6, negative 0.8, minus 0.225, square root of three, alpha CB. You can see in this equation, I only have one unknown, so I can find alpha CB. For alpha CB, is negative 6.16 radian per second squared. So you can see I found a negative value, which means that the assumption that alpha CB is 
counterclockwise is incorrect and is actually rotating clockwise in this direction. So clean up the image a little bit here. So alpha, that's alpha CV, which by inspection we can see that actually it is rotating in clockwise. But you can always assume counterclockwise if you find a negative value is clockwise or from the very beginning of the problem, you can, by inspection, you can identify the direction and uh, move forward with that. So once we have alpha CB, I can replace it in the first equation here and then find alpha CD. So based on that, alpha CD uh, would be negative 21.86. Again, the unit is radian per second square. So I, I found a negative value, which means that counterclockwise direction is incorrect, then it's clockwise direction. So here again, by inspection, it was obvious that alpha is in this direction. Alpha DC. So we found the four unknown that the problem was asking for. By identifying the IC, we could easily found, find omega CB. We could write the relative velocity equation as well, but IC method seems to be more efficient uh, for solving this problem. 